Hello, this is Jesse with ZBH. Just wanted to uh, do a quick video about the installation of some outdoor access points. I'm going to be expanding the Wi-Fi coverage of my home into my yard, front, uh, side, and backyard. And I'm going to be using the TP-Link Deco X50 outdoor units. Going to install one in the front yard, and one in the backyard. So I uh, just wanted to provide the uh, setup that I'm going to be doing uh, step by step going to be unboxing going to be configuring and setting up within the app and then installing and I just wanted to go through that and share my knowledge of what I'm doing in hopes that it can maybe help someone else out so go ahead and like and subscribe to my video if you find this content useful and uh, we'll get started thank you today I wanted to go over extending your Wi-Fi to outdoors. Over the last couple of years, I've wanted to increase my Wi-Fi coverage to my entire yard. So I have purchased this Deco Outdoor Mesh um, system. This is the X50 outdoor unit that will uh, hook into my Deco system. I already have um, the TP-Link Deco uh, X20s I believe. I have five of those and I'm going to add two of these X50s to go um, in the outdoors. So I'll be installing those. So I wanted to go over this with you and show you. Uh, so let's get started. Okay so we've got uh, the two main units here is uh, the actual Deco um, X5 or X50 which is outdoor rated uh, which is what I wanted. I don't want any kind of an enclosure. I had to worry about uh, I just wanted an outdoor unit that could handle the cold, uh, the dust, the snow, the rain. And then to power this, I've got the TP-Link 5-port gigabit desktop PoE Plus switch. And that will be powering uh, both of my Deco X50s here using PoE. So that's power over Ethernet. That way I don't have to worry about trying to find a electrical plug to plug in my decos. I can just run Ethernet to the outdoor unit, install these. I'm going to actually install them to my rain gutter uh, that comes down my house. It makes a good installation point. And I think with two of these I should be able to cover most of my yard. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox these and show them to you. And then we'll kind of just go over the install steps that I'm going to take. Okay, you've got it unboxed here. So uh, over here we've got the switch for the TP-Link and uh, it's five ports, um, one through four here on these first four ports, these are the PoE ports and this is an uplink port here. So this will actually go into my gigabit switch and, uh, and then I can power up to four devices. I believe this will handle 65 watts total. I'm only worried about powering two so we should be good to go there. So that's just a small switch. You could buy a larger switch um, that has PoE, you know, 16, 24, however many ports you need. Uh, over here we've got the Deco. I will not be using the power cord. So we've got uh, mounting hardware here. This is if I wanted to install it on a wall or drywall. Um, it comes with a separate bracket that will snap on the back. I'm going to use the pole mount, so I'm not going to need any of this. Uh, Ethernet cable, which I don't need because I've got my own um, 100 foot ethernet cable that should reach and then it came with some pretty sturdy zip ties here so uh, those will be used on um, they'll go through here and they will wrap around the pole so the pole will come up it'll the pole will sit here the zip ties will go around and then here on the bottom you've got three screws and these three screws you will undo and this will remove and this will expose the ports. It has actually two Ethernet ports and a power plug inside. And this uh, rubber here provides the uh, waterproofing on the bottom so that no water can get in. So you just remove those three screws, pull this off, um, make your connections, uh, come through the rubber here, put it back on, screw these back on, and we should be good to go. So again, this is the Deco uh, right here. You can see uh, get the light right. It says outdoor. And uh, this should handle, you know, obviously you don't want to submerge this into water, but uh, it should handle anything as far as the rain or snow goes. So we're going to get this installed. Uh, step one, I'm going to plug this in. 
and I'm going to make sure that everything is working before I install it. I don't want to install it and have it not work. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, a test, make sure my PoE is working, get this set up in the app, and then step two will be to go out and run my cable, run my cable from my switch. Um, I have everything installed in my basement. I'm going to run out through my exterior wall and up to the rain gutter and get this actually installed. And then step three uh, would just be doing the actual install of the deco, getting it all plugged in. And then the last step, step four, would be testing, making sure everything's working properly. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this set up so that I can make sure that it's working. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I've got my, my switches all plugged in. I've got a power light here. And then I also have my deco. I have it turned upside down. I have loosened the three screws. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. This will expose these little rubber grommets that you can remove for each, you know, how many, depending on how many cables you have. I'm not going to be using the power, so I'm going to only just do one for Ethernet. And um, we can see here that there is the power, which I'm not going to use. My two Ethernet ports. Uh, hopefully you can see those down there. And I'll run those and they'll come through here. Um, and then as this sits on top, um, it will mesh up and provide weatherproofing for uh, the Ethernet cable. So I'm just going to take my Ethernet cable here and I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to plug into port one and, and just go ahead and just turn this around. We should get a light, which I do have a light here. And this will then take us into the app. Uh, from here, I need to wait until this starts to flash blue, I believe. Um, I'll have to verify that on the setup instructions, but it's either green or blue. It should start to flash, which means that it is ready to install. So we'll take it from here. We'll go into the uh, Deco app and uh, continue our setup and join this into my uh, Deco wireless mesh network. So when I install this, I don't have any connectivity yet into my switch. I'm, I'm really just using this to power. Um, so when I first install it, it's gonna say that it's using the actual mesh for the backhaul, uh, meaning it's using one of the wireless bands um, in order to provide backhaul. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, run ethernet backhaul from this switch, just like it is here, but I'll have connectivity uh, into this switch from my main switch. So at that point, um, I'll have an ethernet backhaul which will provide uh, better results and better speeds for my outdoor unit. Um, I don't wanna rely on the wireless backhaul, which you can do. Uh, but anyway, there's our light. Yeah, there's our blue light. And so now we're ready to go into the app. So now let's switch over to the app and continue there. Okay, I am here in the app. This is the Deco app. Now, I do like to keep my Wi-Fi devices all the same brand, and uh, that way they hopefully all function properly and talk to each other better. So it's not a guarantee, but I don't like to mix brands. So I try to keep my PoE switch and all of my Wi-Fi units the same brand. So I've chosen TP-Link, their Deco series. Um, it's very easy, you know, easy to run, and uh, I just really like the functionality um, that it has. So I just want to go ahead and continue the setup here. So I'm gonna go up here in the upper right hand corner and hit plus, and I'm gonna add a deco unit. From here, I'm just gonna search for my model. So I know it's a X50, and I'm gonna scroll down to the X50 dash outdoor. There we go. So it's telling me to make sure that I do not mount it first. That's very smart because never fails. You get it all mounted and everything, the cables run, and then you turn it on and something's wrong. So uh, go ahead and do what I'm doing here first, which is to just get it configured uh, without any inst real installation. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next because I have uh, the second one down. I, it shows the ethernet uh, PoE configuration. I've selected that one. Wait till my uh, little blue light is pulsating, which it is. I'm gonna hit next. And I'm gonna allow on the app. And now it's searching and it's already found and it should recognize what it is and it has. 
I'm going to go ahead and go custom and I'm going to go um, backyard and that's it backyard outdoor um, AP let's go ahead and name it that hit done I'm going to go ahead and hit next and it says the deco has been outed um, added excuse me go ahead and mount the deco now when I hit next it is going to run me through a um, installation process so it recommends that you use the poe switch option you're going to get better speeds less cables because you're only going to have an ethernet cable so i am going to go ahead and do uh, next but you could do directly connect wirelessly and that's that wireless backhaul function that would allow you to still connect it you're just not going to get as good as speeds and you're going to have to find a power outlet uh, to plug in. So if that's convenient for you and the running of the Ethernet cable is too difficult, you could definitely do this option. I, on the other hand, I'm going to do PoE. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit next. I'm going to select, I'm going to mount it on the pole. It tells me what I need to do. Take those three screws out. It's going to tell me I need to plug in the PoE Ethernet cable. And I'm going to go ahead and say I have it mounted and mount this deco and it may give me some fits here because I actually don't have it connected with Ethernet into the switch and so um, but here's the next thing is it's going to tell me that my decos need to be updated with firmware this is another thing I like about the TP-Link deco series um, is that the updates do happen um, quite regularly and it notifies you when there's updates so I'm going to go ahead and hit update and so we're going to let this run. This is going to update the firmware on this new Deco unit and uh, get it all up to date so I get all the latest um, security uh, updates. If there's any vulnerabilities, hopefully they've fixed and patched all that. And here's the new features. You can scroll through the list and it will tell you everything um, that it's done as far as uh, new features. And then also at the bottom it talks about the bug fixes that it's fixed. So I'm going to go ahead and hit download firmware and run through this whole process. And then we'll come back and I'll show you the actual installation of the unit outside. And uh, we can also check and make sure that it's got an ethernet backhaul. So that I can uh, I know that everything is working properly with my ethernet connection. So we'll be back. Okay, so here's the final installation. You can see you've got the access point installed there on the rain gutter with the zip ties on and uh, I've got the one in the front yard in a similar fashion. So uh, yeah, we've just uh, tested this, made sure that everything's working properly. I've got my Ethernet backhaul um, all configured and set up. And uh, I'll just finish with a final photo of the install and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.